Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to enhance the water reflections in your photos using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so I have this really awesome photo right here and I really enjoy the sky, but you can see in the water here it's not really reflecting as much of the sky as I would like it to. And so I'm going to show you a couple quick easy things that you can do to uh, enhance the sky and make it reflect in here into the water. And so the first thing we need to do is get a lasso tool. I'm just going to get the regular uh, regular lasso tool here. And all I'm going to do is, is drag a big selection over the whole sky and a little bit of the ground here. And so I'm just going to start over here. And I'm going to loosely follow the ground. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm, you can see I'm just getting a little bit of the ground here all the way across the image. And then once I get to the other end, I can just make a big loop on the outside. And what that's doing is selecting the whole sky. And so now I have this whole layer here, this whole marching ants here is what it's called. So I can hit Command or Control C for copy and Command or Control V for paste. And you can see it creates a brand new layer over here. So if I toggle the background layer off, this is my selection that I just had. So now probably the easiest, most effective way to do a water reflection shot here is to actually hit Command or Control T on the sky layer that you selected, right click and say flip vertically. And you can see it inverts it here and all I'm going to do is drag it down here and kind of try to match it up with the water and the, the surface here. And once I get that right around where I want it, I'm going to click enter. And now I have kind of a mirrored reflection look here. And so I like the way that's actually looking. So all I really need to do is kind of blend this in with the water. So this is where really going to be where your blending modes come in. So I'm going to go over to the blending mode section here. And I got a couple I can choose from. Uh, I can choose soft light. And you can see that kind of blends in. You still see the, the texture of the water. But you still do get the, the sky here. Or you can do overlay. And that kind of intensifies it just a little bit more. It actually makes it more uh, more of a harsh edge. And so to get rid of that harsh edge, I do like the way this looks. But we can see that the water reflection is 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 perfect. Uh, you can see each individual leaf in the in the the water reflection. So I need to add a motion blur to this layer. So I'm going to go up to filter, blur, motion blur. I'm going to make sure my angle is set to zero and now I can play with the intensity of the blur. So you can see if I move it up to 240, it's really blurry, but you can still see that it's reflecting the trees or I can back it down a little bit and try to get a little bit more definition into the sky. So I'm going to, I'm going to go right around 175 ish, somewhere around there. So I'm going to click okay. And now if it's still too intense, all I got to do is back down the opacity and it starts to blend in a little more. One thing you do have to watch out for is your selection. You might have some harsh edges, as you can see here, where the sky reflection is kind of touching the uh, the grass here. So that's where a, a, a layer mask comes in. So I'm gonna click the layer mask button, get a black brush, and just paint that away, and just kind of help it a little bit just to blend in. Most of the time, for other, for most photos, you won't be able to see this because you're not zooming into to to uh, 100 or anything like that. Uh, but this just gives a little bit more attention to detail, so you can get rid of some of those harsh edges. So this is our after photo. So let's look at before and after here. So we got this is our before photo. It's a really good photo, but we want to intensify the reflection a little bit. This is our after, and it looks really cool. It really makes everything pop and really gives you that uh, mirrored effect in water photos that you're really looking for. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to add water reflections in your photos using Adobe Photoshop. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.